Yeah, hi there, and these comments are for someone at Quora. And let me take a look at your specific question here. So you said, what is the difference between the Aptis, the APTIS, and the TOEFL IBT? Uh, so you say, I want to pursue my studies abroad in France in the international business management field. I'm wondering what tests I should take. Good question. So I'm not that familiar with the Aptis test, to be honest with you. So I looked it up. And it looks like the Aptis is a test that's used by many businesses, government organizations, and maybe educational institutions. So why do they use this? Uh, they identify uh, students or employees. They can figure out what their English level is. They use it to uh, identify training needs. They use it to filter potential employees for interview. And it also identifies those students that might be ready for other exams. And this test is also used for promotion. And it looks at, at the strengths and weaknesses of those people who might be applying for certain types of jobs. So it seems to me that this test from the website I'm looking at, it's used more for business purposes. So it seems to be similar to the TOEIC, the Test of English for International Communication. That seems to be how it parallels uh, with ETS, right? That's kind of what I found out about it. Um, what does it test? I'll give you some information I found out. It says it's made up a number of components and you can take it in packages rather than individually. For example, you have the core language knowledge component grammar and vocabulary. You can combine that with some of the other skills on the test. So, uh, to go back to your question, so, so you want to get a degree in international business or management field. Uh, I think because this is more academic, uh, I recommend that you take the TOEFL IBT exam. Uh, this test is used primarily by institutions to test the academic English language abilities of the test takers. And the international TOEFL exam is used, I don't know, it's like over 5,000 universities all over the world. So I'm sure that that test should be acceptable for your specific purpose. So those are my recommendations.